Let's get into this season. Darcy, your matchmaker, Michelle. She's phenomenal. I love how she's focused on the inner work as well as, you know, the outer work and dating. I wanted to learn how to date differently. Her advice is golden. You know, she wants to kind of look from within and kind of also help release past baggage. And it's definitely been an amazing experience. Yeah. She's definitely got an amazing clientele. And I'm excited to go on this journey along with her. She knows what she's doing. Is it gonna work? What can you tease? Well, you'll have to see and find out, but I definitely go on some dates for sure. I can't wait to see. Well, something she brings up is your filters on your photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How would you feel if I showed you a True. picture of a guy and he looks all young and then when you see him, he's got... Right. Okay. How was that? She was very gentle in the way she called it out. But how did you take that in that moment? You know what? Hey, it's each their own. I understand. You know, I actually was just going through my, scrolling through my phone when she was asking for some pictures when I was applying for the application. And those were the ones that I had kind of most recent. They had filters on them. But we ended up doing like a little impromptu photo shoot in her office on her phone that were not right. filtered. So we were able to get some really good shots of me just in my natural self. Right. There is nothing wrong with a good filter, but I know from the experience, they can kind of get addictive to a little yeah. bit, you know? But I'm looking at you right now, I'm like, if we took a picture, honey, <laughs> no filter necessary. Oh, do, you. Do, you, do you feel that pressure though? Like, cause you're on camera unfiltered. Exactly. Right. I just think it's something that we do for social media. It's fun, you know, yeah. it's my Instagram page, my social media pages, and I don't mind having a filter or two. I mean, you know, it's for fun. Yeah. We are on camera and we're not always camera ready, nope. you know, hair and makeup, you know, yeah. just, a filter just kind of like gives you more of that airbrush look, airbrush flawless look. There's definitely no shame in our game. Yeah. yeah. Filter yeah. queens. Yeah. We know who we are on the inside and the outside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, something else that you opened up about, and I want to get your take on this too, Stacey. Darcy, you opened up about your experience growing up with your mom and your dad's relationship and your fear of being lonely. My parents got divorced when we were 12. And I don't really feel like I had a good example to see and know what a healthy relationship looks like. My mom, she never got remarried. She never really dated much after the divorce. My dad, even though he's had multiple marriages, they were not long lasting. I'm sure it affected, you know, both Stacy and I. And now I just feel like I don't want to be like my mom. Lonely. Where are you with that? Is that still something that is scaring you or just on your head your head heavy? Yeah, you know, I feel like coming to Miami single and ready to mingle, you know, I have, you know, sometimes those thoughts of being alone, not finding the right person, but it's okay. It's okay to be alone, loving yourself and, you know, raising the bar for who you are as a person. And I know I deserve love. I feel like when the time is right, they'll come to me. And yeah. there's only fear and just knowing, like, you know, I don't want to be, like, totally alone one day because I know I can give someone a beautiful life as well. And right. it's definitely going to be in the near future. I'm really excited for it. But um, yeah, I think in the moment it was a little fearful. I just had kind of moved here and meeting with a matchmaker. It's something I've never really done before. So it was really vulnerable in that moment, but it's okay. I feel like I needed her to, to open up to me and I wanted to be open to her as well. So when you met this guy, what were your first impressions? Yeah, what was like your vibe that you got? And I love how Aspen and Annika were so excited that oh, you yeah. were dating around your age. How old is he? And we're the same exact age. Yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> I know they yeah. high-fived me and high-fived each other. It was yeah. really fun to see them. Yeah. Just really happy for me and moving on and moving forward in my life. They're also very beautiful and smart. I am the most proud mom in the world. I love my daughters. They have amazing head on their shoulders. They're super smart. Aniko's in college. She's studying marketing and wants to go into real estate, you know, and Aspen's still figuring it out, but you know, she's got plenty of time in the world and I'm really excited for what their future holds. I've waited a long time for this wedding. I want it to be beautiful and I want it to be a dream come true. You know, I, I'm just tired of everything being half-assed and we need to face the real reason why Florian's cutting corners it's time that Florian gets a job. All right, Stacy. Yes. Let's talk about this wedding, your dream yes. wedding. Florian and I, we're, we're determined to make this wedding happen. Yeah. As we'll have to kind of wait and see what happens, mm -hmm. but um, it definitely turns into, you know, a magical moment. 
Okay. Yes. That's some nice. There are ups and downs. But yes, definitely. there's definitely a lot of twists and turns yeah. to get there. But, um, yeah, it's yeah. definitely an epic season of us planning our wedding. So many things happen before and during and after the wedding. So Finances were an yes. issue Yep. when it comes to the wedding. Lauren's had his green card for a year now, or over a year. Yes. Are we going to see him get a job? What, what is he going to do? <laughs> um, you know, Florian, he's very passionate about what he loves, and it's definitely not just any old job. I think he really has a passion of wanting to start his own business. He wants to design furniture and open his own furniture wow. store. Um, he does love modeling, so he wants to you know dabble in that when he can. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're just going to have to... Is he a good see. furniture designer? He's actually amazing. Really? Yes. So he sketches? He designs everything with his hands. He's self-taught He's self -taught by his dad in Albania. And um, I've seen his work. It's very intricate. And um, it's all just like handmade woodwork. It's He's very talented. Well, what do you say to fans who feel as if Florian loves you, but they may fear he's taking advantage of you as well? No. I definitely don't feel like Florian's taking advantage of me. We've been together way too long. I'm pretty sure, like, you know, every relationship has its ups and downs, but our love is pure, it's real, and it's true, and no. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's the real deal, and, Everything you know, in time. People that are closest to us know that it's real love and he's not taking advantage of me, but yeah, like Doris has said, things take time, and, you know, I've been patient. Yeah. Overly patient, but, um... <laughs> You know, it's 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 kind of hard to explain. I guess you'll just have to watch the show. He's okay. eager for it because yeah. when we're spending time with our dad, he'll give them, you know, give Florian business advice. So I think he's he's in that learning phase right now. It's just, it's just taking the action, and yeah. I feel like yeah, you know, we can only guide you so much. And mm -hmm. I just feel like he's just got to take that one step, you know, and, and start. And yes. start. even if it's not perfect, you have to start. Exactly. Somewhere. I think he's just maybe afraid of failing, and but that's how you learn. learn. That's how we learn. So yeah. we try to tell them that, but you know, do right, these are two himself. entrepreneurs right yes. here. Yeah. yeah, we give him advice all yeah. the time, but he's got to he's got to want it for himself when right. the time is right. I can't do it for him. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know? And yeah. you got you found peace though with that. It, it seems like you. I feel like we make a great team regardless, and I know whatever he chooses to do in life, he's going to be a huge success. I really have no doubts about that. Well, he's lucky to have you. Thank you. Support for sure. For he sure. helps me a lot. Yeah, in a lot of ways that you know, just with everything, you know, maybe not financially, but he helps me a lot. Yeah. Baby! Yeah, Jesus, Lord. Oh, okay.